Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Mom, I didn't have breast. I could eat a horse. Dear, this bakery has introduced some new types of cake recently and you can eat as much as you can. John, I was looking through some magazines for ideas about where we might go on vacation this year. I've already told my buddy, Mark, that I am going hunting with him in Alaska. You can't be serious. Hey. I've always gone hunting or fishing on vacation. I am sorry that bothers you. After a year together, I thought it pretty safe to assume that we would automatically spend our vacation together. Says who? I don't think that is necessarily the case. You know, now that I think about it, I really don't have much more to say to you at all. Whatever you say. Susan, what brings you here today? Well, I've got some papers due. Really? So what's the news? Not too good yet. Better than I was though. Hi, my name is Lean, and I'm from Russia. Nice to meet you, Elvan. My name is Alike. I'm from Japan. To me English is a difficult language. A second language is always difficult. True, but English is harder than most. It's a crazy language. A crazy language? Why do you say that? One letter can have several pronunciations and one word can have several meanings. No wonder you say English is a crazy language. Why weren't you at school yesterday? I wasn't feeling really well. What was wrong with you? My stomach was upset. Do you feel better now? I don't really feel too well yet. Do you want anything to make you feel better? No, thanks. I already took some medicine. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Are you really dating with Frank? Yeah, but in my heart of hearts, I find he's not very much to my liking. Then why not keep away from him? The problem is that I just have no one to turn to right now. That's stupid. How do you feel about that restaurant? It wasn't all that great. What did you dislike the most? I don't think that they had their act together. They didn't seem well prepared. Did you think that the food was any good? I wasn't all that impressed by the food. The service certainly could have been better. The service did not help the situation. Is this a restaurant that you want to come back to? I am not interested in trying this restaurant again. What's going on? Nothing really. How about you? A lot. Like the party I'm having on Friday. Well, that's cool. Will you be able to make it? I'm busy this Friday. I'm sorry. What do you have to do? I'm having dinner with my family. Maybe you can come next time. I'll make sure and come to your next party. I'll look for you at my next party. I'll be there. What's the life expectancy in your country? I'm not sure. 
but probably about 75 years. How about in your country? About 70, I think. This newspaper article talks about the problems of an aging population. It's a problem that will soon affect most of the world. I heard that the government might need to increase the retirement age, because otherwise there will not be enough workers to support the young and the elderly. Perhaps we need to have more babies. Tina gave birth to a baby boy yesterday. Did she? That's great. However, if we have too many children, that will have a bad effect on the environment. How's your son these days? Oh, he's fine. Kids seem to grow up very quickly nowadays. He'll be a teenager before you know it. Teenagers are often rebellious. When do you mind it is a good age to have a child? I had mine when I was 24. That's a little young. I'd suggest you wait until you are in your late 20s. Or even in your early 30s if you have a good career. Yes, I think you're right. I'm thinking about having a child, but not just yet. Is there a big generation gap between parents and their children in you country? Yes, there is. Teenagers do not want to live traditional lives. They want to go out, have fun, and explore the world. They want to develop their own view of life. Parents usually try to discourage them, but they don't often succeed. Parents usually give their children more freedom in my country. Sometimes they give them too much freedom. It's almost impossible to get the right balance. If you are too strict, kids might ignore you. If you are too lenient, they might go wild. I really should be on my way. Oh, not yet. At least have one for the road. No, thanks all the same. Well, I am sorry you have to leave so early. Thank you very much. We really had a good time. Well, thank you for coming. So see you. Bye. Do you like music? Well, it depends. Do you think the music is well matched? No, I think the music is too fast. How about the words of the song? It sounds nice. I like it. Naturally it can arouse your feelings. Yes, I think so. It's very emotional. Of course, and I also like the rhythms. Full of energy and hope. Really, it's worth listening to and enjoying. Certainly it is. It's worth an Academy Award. You're not looking happy. What's the matter? Oh, nothing special. I'm just a bit tired. With the job? With everything, with everybody, with all this. A good suggestion for you. You need a holiday. It wasn't always like this, you know. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we always do the same thing. There's no variety in our lives. You need a holiday. That's what's the matter. Certainly, perhaps. The boss is mad at you. Who cares? So, Paula, where are you from? I'm from Canada, originally. From Canada? Where were you born? Montreal. When did you come to Los Angeles? We moved here when I was 14. Did you go to school here? Well, I went to high school here, but I went to college in Texas. 
Did you get a job right after graduation? No, I traveled for a while in Europe after college, and then I lived in France. When was that? Let's see, that was about six years ago. I bet that was interesting. What did you do there? I studied French. Anyway, that's enough about me. How about you? Were you born in LA? Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.